For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2074 as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 2074, a bill to assist tribal governments in the management of buffalo and buffalo habitat and for the re-establishment of buffalo on Indian lands. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Leger Fernandez, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Ma Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. H.R. 2074, the Indian Buffalo Management Act, is sponsored by the Dean of the House, Representative Don Young from Alaska, and I am proud to be a co-sponsor of this bill. This bill will establish a permanent program within the Department of the Interior to develop and promote tribal ownership and management of buffalo and buffalo habitat on Indian lands. In the 1840s, the buffalo population in North America was estimated at 30 million, with approximately 60 million at its peak. Before colonization, about 7 million indigenous peoples populated the North American continent. Throughout this time, many indigenous peoples coexisted with buffalo, often through a sacred spiritual relationship. The buffalo provided food, shelter, tools, clothing, and became an essential component of traditional beliefs and religion. But in the 19th century, in an attempt to displace or eradicate indigenous peoples, the United States military slaughtered tens of millions of buffalo. At the turn of the century, fewer than 500 buffalo remained in this country. Similarly, the American Indian population was reduced to merely 250,000 in the early 1900s. What a loss. By the 20th century, many buffalo conservation efforts were headed by President Teddy Roosevelt and frequently led to private ownership of buffalo herds. In 1991, 10 tribes committed to buffalo restoration efforts with 1,500 buffalo and organized the Intertribal Buffalo Council, or ITBC. The ITBC collaborates with several federal agencies for buffalo management and now includes 69 federally recognized tribes in 19 states with 55 buffalo herds. I'm here to report that many of the tribes and pueblos within my district have thriving herds of their own. The Indian Buffalo Management Act will allow tribal nations to develop and maintain buffalo herds on tribal lands to restore treaty obligations and the buffalo population itself. Additionally, this bill will enable the transportation of surplus buffalo from federal lands into tribal lands. The great Sioux chief, Sitting Bull, summed up the atrocities surrounding the buffalo when he said, a cold wind blew on the prairie on the day the last buffalo fell. A death wind for my people. Passage of the Indian Buffalo Management Act will begin the remediation of buffalo for indigenous peoples and restore religious and spiritual practices that were stripped after the founding of this country. I urge the swift adoption of this bipartisan bill and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 2074 as amended the Indian Buffalo Management Act. And I also want to thank uh, my good friend and the sponsor of the legislation, the Dean of the House, Congressman Don Young, for his tireless advocacy on behalf of Indian country. Uh, Madam Speaker, it may come to uh, a lot of people's surprise, but in my home state of Arkansas in my district. We actually had buffalo herds there at one time, and it's, it lingers in many names around the state, the Buffalo National River, Buffalo Gap. There are, uh, uh, there's actually a, a history of, of buffalo in Arkansas and many other states that no longer have herds. H.R. 2074 would authorize the Department of the Interior to establish a permanent program to develop and promote the capacity of Indian tribes and tribal organizations to manage buffalo and buffalo habitat. The American buffalo, or bison, has long held importance to the United States and was officially named the national mammal in 2016. 
Many American Indian and Alaska Natives have also had a long-standing cultural and spiritual relationship with buffalo, which continues to this day. By the end of the 19th century, however, buffalo were near extinction. But as a result of conservation efforts, buffalo have slowly returned, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture has estimated that there are now 200,000 buffalo in the United States. In 1991, several tribes with buffalo herds joined together forming the Intertribal Buffalo Council. The council received a federal charter to aid tribes in the restoration of buffalo on tribal lands in 2009. Today, the International Buffalo Council is comprised of 68 member Indian tribes and Alaska Natives with 55 buffalo herds in 19 states with the mission of restoring buffalo to Indian country. In 2019, the council received approximately $1.4 million from the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Unfortunately, this available funding is subject to fluctuating appropriations and it is not dedicated to buffalo management on tribal lands. The council estimates that unmet needs are in excess of $12 million per year. H.R. 2074 would dedicate $14 million annually for the Department of the Interior to directly support the ability of Indian tribes to protect, conserve, and enhance buffalo populations on their lands. The bill would authorize the Secretary of the Interior to enter into agreements with Indian tribes or tribal organizations to dispose of surplus buffalo on federal land and transfer those buffalo to Indian lands. The program is intended to help tribes and tribal organizations plan, conduct, or implement buffalo restoration programs, plan and execute commercial activities related to buffalo products, and carry out other activities related to buffalo restoration and management. I again want to thank Congressman Young for his leadership on American Indian, Indian and Alaska Native issues, and I urge support for this measure. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Arkansas reserves. The gentlewoman from Mexico is recognized. I reserve. Gentleman from Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, I yield such time as he may consume to the gentleman from Alaska, the Dean of the House, Mr. Young. The gentleman from Alaska is recognized for such time as he may consume. Madam Chairman, I ask unanimous sense for having to stand. Without objection. <clears throat> you know, this is sort of a sweetheart time. I got the ranking member and I have the chairman, Rigalva, and of course my chairman, and thank you. Supporting the bill, I think, is long overdue. I think some of you mentioned the fact that um, the demise of the buffalo was the demise of the American Indian, done deliberately. And now we're trying to restore it on Indian land. This is a bill to give them the opportunity for consumption of food is good for the tribe, but also economically. The buffalo is a magnificent animal. We recognize it as a nation when we had a, the buffalo nickel. And it's recognized in your state and my state. And it's amazing that one time you may not realize that we had tremendous herds of buffalo up there, but it wasn't man that diminished them, it was climate change. And it actually froze them out. This is a bill that will give the opportunity to the tribes to reestablish the buffalo on native lands. The history will be repeating itself that no one will kill them like they did before and it will have a sustainable yield of a magnificent animal. For those in this audience and this, this great chamber haven't eaten buffalo burgers, you better try it. It's one of the better meats. I'm promoting this right now, I don't have a buffalo. But it is one of the better meats. And it's good for the nation. It's good for the tribes. It's good for the buffalo. This bill is a good bill. It's a bill that should be frankly passed a long time ago, but thank you, Madam Chairman, because I believe what we're doing today is the right thing. I want us to recognize this act as an act that promoted my American Indian Alaska natives. We have three tribes in Alaska that have buffalo already, and they're anxious for this to go on. If you haven't eaten buffalo jerky, try it. It's good, too. So I'm suggesting respectfully, Madam Chair, that this is a good piece of legislation, bipartisan, working together for the first Americans. And I'm proud to be the sponsor of it. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Alaska yields back. The gentleman from Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I am so very lucky to have uh, on the Subcommittee for Indigenous Peoples Representative, the Dean of the House, Don Young, as the ranking member. The amount of work that we do in that committee that is bipartisan, that always looks at what is the issue that must be solved and works together to solve that issue is exactly sort of epitomized by this bill. We are recognizing that there was a tragedy in our history where 
we actually tried to eliminate the food source for the indigenous peoples of the Americas. And we did. We caused hunger. We caused deprivation. But we're recognizing that today, and we are going to be giving the assistance to all tribes to be able to manage buffalo herds. I have been very fortunate to eat bison, and we love bison burgers at my home, and I have been at Taos Pueblo when they have uh, offered in their ceremonial way um, their, the buffalo meat and, and the cooking around, uh, around the fire. It is indeed delicious. I completely agree with the dean of the house. But we also need to recognize that managing a buffalo herd is not simple. We need to make sure that there are no diseases that are passed between cattle and elk and buffalo. They need to make sure that there is the right uh, genetics uh, so that we don't interbreed so much. So it does require a lot of work. And this bill provides the tribes with the assistance so that they can both protect and manage um, these herds of these magnificent animals. Uh, uh, With that, Madam Speaker, I reserve. Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I have no further speakers in reserve. Gentleman from Arkansas reserves. Gentleman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I have no further requests for times and would require as to whether um, my colleagues will be yielding. Gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, in closing, I encourage passage of this bill. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Arkansas yields back balance of his time. The gentlewoman from Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, for all of the reasons that have been stated on the floor of this glorious house today, I urge my colleagues to support the legislation and I yield back the balance of my time. Mexico yields back the balance of her time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2074 as amended? Those Those in favor indicate by saying aye. Those opposed indicate by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Madam Speaker, I request a recorded vote. The yeas and nays are requested. Pursuant to Section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings are postponed.